Well, as far as the destination Dubai Super Series standings is concerned at the moment, after this tournament here in Denmark, I can tell you that the top three will remain the same. Rachnot Intanon, who didn't play here, is going to go down two places. Sainan Awal will go up to number four. And win or lose, Li Shuere, who's not even on the list, she's number 11 at the moment, she will go up to number five. PV Sindhu, her opponent in today's final, will either go up 10 or eight places, depending on whether she wins or loses today's final. But for PV Sindhu, I'm quite certain she won't be worrying about that because this is the biggest moment of her life, perhaps, so far, her first ever Super Series tournament final, and it's a premiere as well. Well, as you can see from semi-final stage onwards, four different nations represented. And uh, Carolina Marin, the two-time world champion, uh, beaten in a thrilling three-game contest, uh, which got PV Sindhu through to her first ever Super Series final. We are ready for the well, Lee Chwere is the only defending champion six. on show today, Chinese, on finals Bay. day. From China, Lee Sui. Here she is, the Olympic champion, the defending champion here at the Yonex Denmark Open. Appearing today in her 11th Premier Super Series Tournament final. She's facing world number 13 from India, PV Sindhu. Unseeded at the start of the week, Kusala Venkata Sindhu of India. What a moment for her. Prior to this year's Denmark Open, the best she'd done in a Premier Super Series was here last year when she was in the quarter final stage been in a couple of semi-finals of ordinary Super Series events, the 2012 China Masters and the 2013 India Super Series. Yeah, well, there's Mum. And no wonder she's leading the PV Sindhu fan club. Kelly Hall from Australia is our umpire for this one. So, the only defending champion through to the final uh, game. And the last player to retain a women's singles title here at the Denmark Open, Steam. Sorry, I was... Uh, yep, the last unaware player... Unaware of... It, well, let me tell you then, let me help you out. I think it was when you were coaching, because the last player to retain the Danish Open women's singles title was Camilla Martin, 2001 and 2002. Yeah. Yeah. I would have coached her in, yeah, actually, I think both years. Well, we're looking at our court officials before we're seeing the players, which... There we go. There's Li Shuere. 24-year-old from Chongqing in Sichuan province. Former world number one, currently number six. She's the second Chinese player on the world ranking at the moment. Well, there her pass through to today's final. First round against the World Championship bronze medalist, Linda Wenning Panatry, went the full distance there. Then second round against Akane Yamaguchi, who of course reached the final of the recent Japan Super Series. Wang Shoshian is the uh, player who she beat in the quarter-final stage and the only player that's ranked above her in the world ranking. And then the semi-final yesterday against the recent winner of the Korean Super Series event, Sung Ji Jung. Was in fact 16-19 up in that second game before she lost it. PV Sindhu not seeded, 13 in the world ranking at the moment. The 20-year-old who lives in Hyderabad has been as high as nine. And there you can see her wonderful set of results. Second round against the number three seed, Tai Chi Ying of Chinese Taipei. Quarter final against the number six seed, the two times former champion here, Wang Yi Han. And then in the semi final against the reigning world champion, 
dropped the second game, but won through 21-17 in an hour and 15 minutes. So, what an occasion for PV Sindhu. Last unseeded player to win a Super Series, of course, was earlier this year. So new at the Singapore Super Series came from match points down against Tai Su Ying. This, as you can see, is the fifth meeting between the two players. So, as I was saying before, our court officials from Australia and Norway. Ready to play. Well, PV Sindhu trying to become only the third player from her country to win a title here at the Denmark Open. 1979, Prakash Patikon won the men's singles. And then, of course, three years ago, Saina Newell won the women's singles. Saina Newell, incidentally, the number one seed this year, lost in the second round to Minatsu Mitani of Japan. There's some Indian fans. They came and said hello to us earlier today, didn't they? Uh, Indian fans living here in Denmark. So the defending champion, far side of the court. She's also the Olympic champion and number four seed here, Li Shui Rei, against the unseeded Pusala Venkata Sindhu. Oh, that's lovely. Last unseeded player to win here in Denmark in the women's singles. Um, uh, 2008, Wang Lin, who went on to win the world title, didn't she? Yeah. In Paris. Got a bad injury. Terrible injury. That sort of injury. ended her, s her yeah. career. Well, that's two wonderful shots deep into the forehand corner two of PV Sindhu. We had a quick glimpse there of the extensive strapping on both knees of the Olympic champion. And it's been of concern of late to us, hasn't it, Steen, that Alicia Ware looks as if she's been really struggling with her movement and struggling with those injuries. Yeah. Um, and she's been, in my opinion, the most <laughs> underperforming player for um, uh, yeah, quite some time, perhaps even the last two years. I thought she looked really, really impressive when winning the Olympics. and. Uh, of course, the, the defeat at the 2013 World Championships on home soil in uh, in Guangzhou might have uh, gotten to her, but I thought at that time that she was clearly the best player on the world circuit, and, and uh, uh, only little has changed in that. I mean, there's come some some players have come of age that uh, that can put pressure on her, but. I still think that compared to her skills, which in my opinion are excellent, she has been underperforming uh, yeah. for quite some time now. Well, uh, just to emphasise your your point, 2012 she played 13 tournaments, reached the final of nine of them, winning eight. Last year, 2014, reached 10 finals from 10 tournaments played. Yeah. So, so last year it was. It was <laughs> just the big occasions, but but mm. this year we haven't even seen her in, in 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 the Super Series as a dominant player. So I think it's really uh, lovely that she's back here in the in the final in in Denmark because um, she is a, a fantastic player in, in my yeah. opinion. Yeah, I concur um. with that wholeheartedly. And in fact, the last title that she won was here last year. Yeah. And for a player that a year ago was. 10 finals from 10 tournaments in 2012, eight titles in the year. You're right, that emphasizes that she's been underperforming. So, really like to see her return to 
her best shape and uh, see her compete with the likes of um, Carolina Marin, Sana Nival, Rachina Gintanan, perhaps PB Sindhu. I was just thinking about, we, we discussed it um, earlier in this tournament uh, with, with Sina that she moved away from the uh, uh, national training setup at the Gobi Chance Academy in, in um, Hyderabad, where PV Sindhu is still training. And, and uh, that's interesting because I don't see any other countries where the two best players are practicing at different um, uh, training centers. No, that's a very good point. So, you could ask, don't they need each other? And, and, and um, I think as a, a women's singles player, you can actually um, practice very well without uh, sparring and competition because there's always boys you can play with. And, yeah. and we've seen Carolina Marin coming up in Spain. And of course, she has some sparring uh, in, in Beatriz Corrales, who's not uh, been able to make it into the top 20, but still is a good player. It's just interesting that um, that these two Indian girls are are practicing yeah. apart, yeah. instead of sort of benefiting from the sparring. How much does she draw on on that win the last time they met each other, PV Sindhu? A lot, a lot of uh, sort of confidence that that she can play with the Li Shuru. It's two-two in, yeah. um, in head-to-heads, and we discussed that we we don't think perhaps the China team is is um, fully uh, in top form, and if that's the case, then even though Li Shuru has has reached the final here, I think Sindhu would be the one who's a little bit more hungry. Yeah. And actually, so far, China hasn't won a title in this year's um, Denmark Open. No, and they had a clean sweep last year. Yeah. All five titles. And that was the first time there'd been a clean sweep here at the Denmark Open since 1955, when Denmark won all five titles. I don't think this. I don't think Lisha Rui is going to. Um, win if you place this way uh, because that's just water on the on the uh, mill of uh, of Sindhu what do you mean by that what what, what, to, what style to, is she playing too um, too simple clear drop yeah if you play just clear drop game um, Sindhu Wang Shishan probably are the two uh, best at that Mm. Because one is extremely quick on her feet and the other one has the reach going for her. But th that was exactly actually the trait that when, when uh, she was really, really good, Li Shurui, she could play several different playing styles. Yeah. She could run, she could defend, she could attack. Oh, that's yeah. great skill. Excellent. Great skill from Lee Shirley. Little reverse slice, straight drop. Just watch the racket head as she plays this yeah. final shot. Look at yeah. that. Amazing shot. Terrific. Yeah, it was a long old rally too. Thirty-two shots. Seven eight. And she beat Song Ji Jun uh, yesterday, and I think Song Ji Jun is in in really good um, uh, form as of now. And and every time I looked over their court, Song Ji Jun was playing really well and playing fast. But uh, Li Shu really wanted. Yeah. Well, there's a challenge here. Ooh, that's yeah, in. That's in. That's a good challenge.
There we are. Confirmed by Hawkeye. What a great challenge. Well, it's interesting you mentioning her match yesterday against Sung Ji Hyung, Lee Shuere, that is, because I'd done some research for the women's doubles and the last Koreans to win the women's doubles title here at the Denmark Open was Sung, Sung Ji Hyung's mama. Yeah. Kim Yun Ya playing with Yu Sang Hee. Hey! 1985 hey! was the last time they won, 30 years ago. And that was their third consecutive title, that Korean women's doubles pair. We were talking about this guided shot, weren't we, the other yeah. day? You know, not trying to do anything too fancy, just, just taking it early. Taking it early, play the quickest shot. Yep. Were we talking about it in men's singles or, or women's singles? I can't remember. Which is a fabulous shot, whatever. Just wrong. It's a run of four straight points. It would be uh, a great win. Whoever player takes this title. Mm. PB Sindhu, first ever. Lisha Rui, first Super Series title of the year. Return to some kind of uh, yeah. form. Another challenge. Well, this time, out. I thought the line judge got it right. That will reserve judgment until Hawkeye. There it is. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah. It's always quite tricky for a player challenging on that far back line, isn't it? Because, of course, it's so much more difficult to see. Yeah. And it's quite a risky strategy. I think the only time you should do it is actually when the shuttle slides, if it's a smash or a push from the net. Mm. Well taken. Well taken. It's this thing about Lisha Rue, uh, sometimes when she plays good rallies, and, and she plays a lot of good rallies, she sort of celebrates to sort of induce confidence in herself. It's just, it's immediately after the celebration, everything is gone. It looked like mm. she doesn't really believe it herself. Mm. But, I mean, yeah, she's taking her to herself to the final, so of course she can play, but uh, yeah. it's just, I sense that there's some kind of insecurity uh, a little bit deeper inside her. Mm. And perhaps she is the one who needs this victory most. Good rally. Oh, it's just wide. It's wide by a whisker. And it means that PV Sindhu has the advantage at the mid-game interval here in the opening game. Yeah, good call, line judge. It wasn't wide by much, but it was wide. Well, as far as the coaching staff are concerned, change in there. In the black truck suit top, and there's Arvin Bard. We're delighted to see him. I enjoyed commentating on him winning the... Did he win the uh, German Open? He certainly did, two years ago, I think. Along with Madhu Mitterbisch. Well, they'll be delighted with P.V. Sindhu, the way she's really hung in here. Love three down, five two down. 
and the advantage of the mid-game interval. Look at that drop shot. Good recovery, so good retrieving. It's wide. wide. Yeah. Well, after all her injury problems earlier than the year, PV Sindhu, that stress fracture in the left foot and been out for six weeks. She too looks in very, very good form now, doesn't she? Five straight points now. That's wide too. Six straight points. Who did uh, Li Shui beat in the Olympic final in, in London? Was it uh, Wang Yihan? Wang Yihan. And, Three and, games. And bronze medalist was, of course, um, Sina Newell. Sina Newell beating Wang Xin. Yeah. Sina Newell had lost the first game yeah. and at one love up mm. in the second game, Wang yeah. Xin injured her knee. Yeah. Tried to play on, I think, for another two rallies, but it was hopeless. And we, and we actually saw her... Uh, finishing her career because she was awarded some kind of um, yeah. prize um, when she when she finished her career and that was at the Sudiaman Cup in uh, Duanghua. That's right. Now the reason I asked was that it's some interesting dynamics there must be in, in the Chinese women's singles team. Mm. The, the three best players right now is Li Shu Rui here who was selected on account of Wang Shixian, who was actually higher ranked than Li Shui, yeah, but right. the Chinese team had the opportunity of selecting because all four players were in top four, so they could select the three players mm. they believed the most in. So she was selected on behalf of one of her teammates, yeah. and she beat the other teammate in the Olympic final. So. Mm. I'd like to be a fly on the wall for one of those <laughs> practice sessions. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yes. Well, the run of points comes to an end, but eight straight points from eight, ten down. Well, we were talking in the men's doubles, weren't we, about ten straight points, and you simply can't allow it to yeah. happen. The Olympic champion. Eight straight points against her. Yeah. And she's given Sindhu confidence. Well, they were on the net shot there, but I do like the fact that Sindhu is really now trying to take the shuttle early at the net, lunging yeah, forward. Yeah. We saw it earlier in this final, where she created the winner. I always felt her net play was a bit of a weakness, but she's been working on it, and that is quite obvious. It's now quite a strength.
Good shot. Yeah, very good shot. Yeah. Sliced, drop shot there. Fantastic shot. Uh, we saw the other one, the reverse slice from uh, her forehand corner. Two extremely difficult shots to master. Defence initially from Rouge Ray, but all credit to PV Sindhu. What was that, four attacking shots or was it five? Yeah. Three important rallies coming up now. Will we should really catch up or is Sindhu running away with this first game? She's having trouble when she has to take the initiative herself, Sindhu. Yeah. yeah, the Indian coach is looking a little concerned now. And also, you know, I mean, she's only 20 years of age, for goodness sake, and, and her first ever Super Series tournament final, and as you get closer to that finishing line, yeah. it's almost like you can't believe the enormity of what could yeah. happen. Yeah. This is a huge point. Oh, look at that backhand. Excellent oh, play by Alicia Rui. Fantastic play. And what a way to get back level. Seven of the last eight points now going to the defending champion. Challenge from Sindhu. Mimi Sindhu challenges called in. Well, I instinctively thought it was in, but we're not in the best position to see that, are we? It's no, in. that's in. Middle of the line. Yeah. That so. creates a little break. Yeah. Challenge unsuccessful. Maybe one challenge remaining. 18, 17. Play. Oh, 
Oh. Uh, well, the commitment <laughs> coming forward there from PV Sindhu. That is what, it was not a good shot. No. Too flat, wasn't it? I think if uh, Lishwaru could have gotten her body out of the way, it might have gone long. Mm. Game uh, this year. Much quicker with the records. say this passage of play from Lee away from 10 16 down since then her play has been magnificent 10 in the last 12 points and now two game point opportunities That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Yeah. Service over. Well, 19. Deep into that forehand corner. It's a wonderful shot. It's a punch clear, attacking clear too. Yeah. Lift's going long. No, it's oh, nice. way in. Like it. Well, I have to say, I thought the same as Cindy, but you were right, Steve. First game won by Lee Cherie, Enough height on it. Keep it in. And the opening game to the defending champion. Yeah, way in. You're absolutely right. Twenty six minutes for that opening game. Twenty one nineteen. Well, Chen Jin. Imparting his advice. interesting to me the fact that Lee Shuere is adding to the discussion there Madeleine like me competed in the women's doubles at Babington's first ever Olympics in Barcelona of course All the discussions go on.
Oh, certainly some Sindo fans here in the arena. Arena. Well, if she's to win her first ever Super Series title, she's going to have to come from a game down. Here again, a flat game, and she's getting punished by uh, Alicia Rui, who's very, very strong in the flat game today. So if you had had the opportunity to speak to Sindhu, apart from saying don't get involved in the... Don't get involved in the flat game. Block it whenever you can. You can play one flat shot and then block it or lift it. Um, Any other tactical advice for the Indian player? Yeah, I think, I think wow. right now the only uh, situation where she has an advantage is in the clearing game, or perhaps not even an advantage, but just... Um, yeah, a small advantage. Clear drop game and wait for the opportunity. See if you can get as much over as possible. Wait for the opportunity and um, you have to you have to smash from uh, with a good angle because if you smash too flat, um, Lisha Ruiz's uh, defense is really, really strong. Um, Thank you. Especially on the backhand side, it comes these powerful uh, cross shots. Yeah. But the, the thing that really brought her in trouble, Sindhu, was the two times that uh, Lisha Rui played a little bit patient, where Sindhu tried to play too close net shots mm. from the back line. That's why. It, yeah. Yes. Now she's out of challenges. Now she's out of challenges. Well, we are being a little hasty, perhaps. Yeah. But that does look out, I think doesn't it's it? Out. Today, confirming what over. Hawkeye says. Yeah. No challenges remaining. Wait. Three, one, play. I think she cannot afford to make these easy mistakes, no. uh, Sindhu, because she got to play long rallies and hope for mistakes from uh, from Lisha Ruiz's uh, side. And apart from these 10 points in a row, she's been quite dominant. It would have been 21. Mm. I mean, you, you can't just deduct 10 points, but it would have been a fairly easy uh, victory in the first game. Yeah. And this is not going to go PV Sindhu's way. She has to retrieve a couple of uh, good shots from Lisha Rui. Excellent. Well, it is excellent. I'd love to see that again, but of course, no challenges left. No. It does raise the issue about the number of challenges that we have per match. Of course, you don't want to give players so many challenges that, you know, every other rally there's a, yeah. a break in play because they're challenging. But the whole point of the challenge system is to ensure that in the end the right decision is made, the yeah. fair and right decision is made. And I'm really not convinced that just two challenges per match is enough. No, I think we need two challenges per game yeah. plus an extra challenge if you go to 20 all. At least the the um, extra points makes perfectly good sense that if, if the match is longer than we predict, then we need yeah. an extra challenge. And especially yeah. because it's so important. Yes. So we at least need to be right there. Yeah, exactly. 
at those crucial stages. Yes. Yeah, we have to be right. And I also yeah. like the idea about two challenges per game, more than, for instance, four challenges per match. Yeah. Because then you can yeah. sort of save and have four challenges for the third game and so on. Yes. And that that yeah. ruins it a little bit. Yeah. Good point. Very good point. Flying a little bit slower towards PV Sindhu's end of the court, and that's clearly an yeah. no, that one was long. Important for Alicia Rui to still play with patience. Oh, look at that. You know, when you see her play shots like that, well, it is so reminiscent of how she won that Olympic gold medal. Yeah. And it's this sort of movement that allows her to get herself in the position to be able to play that sort of shot that's yeah. been lacking, she has, she isn't has it? She has all opportunities. Yeah. Long. Yeah, it was long, but no challenges. Ten, four. Yeah, and that's probably the difference in the two ends, isn't it? In that amount of drift. Yeah. So 11-4, the advantage to the defending champion, having already won the first game. I wouldn't say it's cruise control, but all of a sudden, it looks as if Sindhu perhaps doesn't have the same sort of belief that we saw in the early stages. No, no. And, and also, uh, she can't expect Nisha Rui to awarded 10 points free of charge in, in this game. Yeah. Yeah, the Indian coaches using all of their allotted time. And the Chinese coaches, quick word, and then left the court. Look at that net shot from Lee Shrey away. Absolutely perfect.
Yeah, good judgment. Quality shots from yeah. uh, Lisha Rui, and, and when she's got that touch that she has had in this Five. match, apart from the ten points in the first game, I don't think Sindhu has the weapons to score against her. Signs of the coaches with their hand, left hand, easy now. Mm. Don't, don't um, hurry yourself. Great. Oh. And on. Easy, easy, easy. Play on. Well, it's really seems all one-way traffic now, doesn't it? And, yeah. You know, I don't think that I've seen Nishwe Ray play this sort of form, this sort of badminton in the last 12 months. No, I agree. <laughs> but it seems like also that she senses herself that it's quite fragile because mm. at 14-5, if you make a mistake, Mm. Then you're normally not that concerned, but she yeah. was. Yeah. But uh, it's great to have her back as a real title contender. Yeah, I agree. And I think, I mean, for China, if, if they are to do well at the Olympics, I think it's this girl here in the picture. Mm. Who, who needs to do it? She has the advantage that she already has one Olympic gold yeah. medal. Um, Wang Yihan, I don't think she's up to it. And, uh, Wang Shishan has, yeah, she's been playing well, but she hasn't really won anything. No. Oh, yes, well taken. Yeah. And not normally I, I would <laughs> deem this as garbage time because I would think that the match would be decided. But just because we've seen that she perhaps is a little bit shaky, I don't think we should totally write um, PV Sindhu off yet. No. Uh, flashlight. On the opposite side, that's bothering her. from Sindhu's perspective. Just been on a run of four straight points and you just started to think, well, maybe a couple more and this could become very, yeah. very interesting. 
I think that was crucial for him. Sindhu. Mm. Oh. oh, what a great shot. We haven't seen any of that so far. Sindhu moves well right. Totally the wrong direction. Look at this. Beautiful. That's a good clear. Oh. Well yes. played. Good, good rally. Yeah. Oh, look Excellent. at that. That is a glorious rally from the Olympic champion. My goodness, she explored all four corners of the court. Had to be good with her reactions there. 19, uh, look at that final shot, the slice across court, played to perfection. And just two points away now. Shwerei from her second consecutive title here. Long. long match points have arrived for the defending champion. Yeah, good judgment once again by Lee Shreway. It's landed in. Her first title of 2015 for the Olympic champion, Lee Schwerdoway. Her eighth Premier Super Series title. And for her to retain her Denmark Open title, that was the last title she won this event last year. 21-19, 21-12 in 47 minutes. And as Steen was saying throughout, how delightful to see her back to the sort of form that we saw from Lee Shui in 2012, and indeed last year as well, 2014. Confirmation. 21-19, 21-12 in 47 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now ready for the prize event ceremony for the women's singles. Well, for PV Sindhu, obvious disappointments. Of course she'll be disappointed, but she's taken a giant leap forward in her career. First ever Super Series tournament final, and it happened to be a premier. the players make their way to the podium. It will be 
a 20th time that Lee Shuei Ray uh, stood on top of the podium. For PV Sindhu, uh, the first ever Super Series tournament final. Presented by Denisa with the final score of 21-19, 21-12 from China, Li Yi The first title of the year. A 13 Super Series title in total. In 2014, she was world number one. Ten tournaments played, ten finals. By her own very high standards, until now, as she has struggled in 2015. But what a delight to see Li Xuere in this sort of form once again. The local gifts and flowers are presented by Morgan Quebec, given to Mayor of the City of Wilson. Ladies and gentlemen, your medalists at the Yonix. Yishiri, congratulations. What worked out so well for you today? First, uh, I won last year here in Denmark, and I waited for this gold medal for one year, and I feel very happy now. Yeah, two wins in a row for you here at Denmark Open. How has it been to play here again? She feels so great, and thank you to all audience in Denmark and here. Thank you. So just one more final to come. It's men's singles, and it's the defending champion, Chen Long, up against Tommy Sugiato. Chen Long going for his third consecutive title here at the Denmark Open, and his fourth in total up against the unseeded Tommy Sugiato. Now, as far as the destination Dubai Rankings are concerned after this week in Denmark. The top five will remain the same. No changes there. 
But up to number six will go the current number eight, Chao Tian Chen, having reached the semi-final here in Odense. And as far as Tommy Sugiato is concerned, well, he's number 12 at the moment. If he wins, he'll go up five places to number seven. If he's beaten in today's final, he'll go up three places to number nine. So either way, Tommy Sugiato will enter the top 10 on the Destination Dubai rankings. Well, as far as the men's singles is concerned, we only had six of the eight seeds through to the quarterfinal stage. One seed lost in the first round. Keshap Parupali lost to Lee Chong Wei, former world number one, a former champion here. And Shrikanth Kadambi, the number five seed, lost in the last 16, and he lost.